Let's see how the Gauteng provincial government is giving job seekers valuable artisan skills. At first, when I started working here, I told my husband, I'm going to work. Are you going to allow me to work night shift? He said, no problem, go. <laughs> because it's what you like. I'm a boiler operator at Chris Honey Barakwanath in Soweto. I'm working for DID, Department of Infrastructure Development. It takes over 6,000 people to keep the third largest hospital in the world running all year round. There are doctors, cleaners, plumbers, cooks, nurses, and everyone depends on the regular work of a boiler operator to do their jobs. So I started working in 2002 as a boiler assistant. I went to the training in 2004. They teach me about the boiler operating. How do you operate the boiler? You must be alert 24 hours to check whether the boiler is online. The doctors, they need me. We produce steam. It produces the heaters. They must be hot in the, in the water. And then the steam also, they cook in the kitchen. Without steam, they can't cook. Even in the maternity, they use steam. And then the doctors, they need steam to operate. They sterilize their equipment with the steam. The steam is so important in the, in the water. If you look at the civil industry, they can design bridges, they can design roads, but we need somebody to do the actual building of that. We need somebody to do the maintenance of big machines, maintenance in factory, maintenance in industry, and that's where the artisans come in. An artisan is the people that is doing the physical work. They work with hands, they work with the machines, they keep the machines rolling in South Africa. The Department of Infrastructure Development needs skilled people to build and maintain our hospitals, police stations and schools. They offer training courses like the Accelerated Artisans Training Program and the National Youth Service Program through institutions like Zwane South College. And they focus on employing women in jobs only men used to do. At first, they couldn't accept that the women can work their job. Even now, it's difficult for them. But now I'm an operator, so it's very hard for them to accept, to lead by the lady. Artisan training, or artisans as such, is for everybody. It can be done by females, it can be done by disabled people. It's good. The women, they need job. The department, they try to empower the women, to show the men that we can do their job. I want to thank my department. Thank you, DID, to make me what I am today. I'm so proud of you. What can you do? Contact the DID for more information about training and career opportunities. Break the mold and refuse to accept stereotyping in your career choices. Go to www.kailosa.com for more information.